Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on a sim as long as needed before you go live in any uh, live account. Uh, we want to try to cover the TI7. The TI7 auto trade is uh, you can uh, scalp it or swing trade it, use it on one contract, two contract, four contract, as many contracts as you want. And what we do, we, we use one, two minutes for an aggressive trader, three minutes, four minutes, somewhere around that area between three and four minutes, medium trader. Uh, and the conservative trader is the five minutes. So we don't use different time frames. We try to keep it simple. And uh, at the same time, we can, you can scalp it or uh, swing trade it or in between. Because like uh, right now, you don't want to swing trade on Monday. This is very important. You don't swing trade on Monday. You want to scalp on Monday. So this is really important when you have a, uh, different feature in the auto trade to let it do what you whatever you want it to do be an aggressive trader conservative uh, scalping swing trading also any kind of auto trade require a little management uh, the ones on the four contracts absolutely we put it on one thousand uh, dollar a day but um, a one thousand dollar plus or minus you can do it or you can put it on one thousand dollar plus or five hundred dollars down you can set your own uh, target uh, whatever it takes you you can do it and um, if the market going to your direction the auto trade is not going to close on one thousand it's going to stay above that number here so uh, on the nasdaq two minutes uh, this one here is in a way scalping 1180 and uh, target 1000 uh, on the ES here 2262 based on four contracts five minutes conservative and that is very good uh, on the NASDAQ uh, four minutes scalping mood ES two minute three thousand. This is it was a very nice on the three minutes today, and um, the daily target was one thousand and it nailed uh, thirty one twelve fifty. Uh, on the uh, ES uh, three minutes we nailed. This is was beautiful trades as well. Non-stop is a very, uh, this template, the three minutes, non-stop is uh, very consistent. And you can see how those trades are very consistent. Uh, and uh, when you have losses, it's a very small loss uh, compared uh, to the winning trade. And as you see how, uh, that's why I love the minutes, because it can read the trend uh, very nice. Uh, this one here is uh, the ES, uh, two minutes, based on four contracts, and started around 9.30, and uh, didn't take a trade until uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, this is also an ES, also beautiful trade, it's uh, based on two contracts. And uh, the five hundred dollars daily target it nailed one thousand thirty seven. Actually, this one here we made it on the last webinar, and we were showing uh, our traders how you can tweak an auto trade if you wanted to tweak it. Nasdaq one thousand five eight five, and uh, Russell. If you are a Russell trader, we are scalping the Russell. Uh, ES four minutes. I don't want to go through every single. Uh, it's the same thing. It's very consistent. Very consistent, even for an early European hours, and then here from nine o'clock, one two, and bam, it's finished. Twenty one hundred. Very consistent. Uh, 
Uh, this is the ES3 minutes. And as, uh, as you notice, they're all uh, one, one, two minutes or three, four minutes or five minutes. And uh, this one here, it was a daily target, 1,000, and it hit 1,000 around 10 o'clock, and it was all over that auto trade. Very beautiful, very nice trades. Uh, three minutes, 1,000. The YM, two minutes. Also, it is nice. You can see, you can see that auto trade immediately, how it's reacting. Uh, to uh, the trend and um, uh, this one here the DAX is three minutes beautiful absolutely look at this consistency you know uh, you cannot say how much you think the auto trade will make tomorrow I don't know if uh, the DAX it will make it tomorrow or not but what I when I look at the auto trade about consistency, it's not, I cannot look in the future how much it's going to make uh, every single day. I wish I knew, but you cannot, but at least you know whether there is a consistency or not, especially when you are using the minute chart, whether you are using one contract like this one here, daily target was 500 and on the ES four minutes uh, got uh, 600. So it depends how you want it to trade and how much risk you want to take uh, uh, to take a trades. Uh, we still have a, a couple open trades. Let me bring them here. Uh, right now on the three minutes ES, uh, we just closed the position and uh, today uh, nailed 4,362. And um, this is a very serious chart and uh, you can see how it broke even immediately we got a hit here two trades on the road that was not uh, good earlier uh, in the morning but uh, today we started around uh, eight o'clock so eight eight thirty so those the trades uh, happened today and uh, those the only trades happen at eight o'clock but you can see uh, still a can of scalp and a swing trading in the same time and a gentleman this is the ti7 and that was a beautiful um, it's not about the money as much as about how it's been taking the trades break even and how it stayed with uh, a market all the way up this is what is the beauty about it. Today you make a uh, hundred dollar. The day after you make uh, fifty dollars. It's not about the amount of money. It's about how this auto trade is responding and taking the trades. This is the most important for me. Today I want to highlight uh, this uh, uh, new auto trade we've been working on, and uh, we have built some friendly auto trade. Uh, it is um, uh, based on, uh, for the guys, they are really struggling with their trades. And uh, we are about done to release it very soon. I want to show you uh, some of it. If we... What this one here, it is a little bit easier to manage uh, than uh, the TI7. And this is uh, the, f we are doing the final test before we release it. And that kind of trade it is for those traders, they wanted to stay day and night. I I'm not saying you should stay day and night. But what I'm saying is for the guys, they want to keep smoothing and scalping the market without dealing with optimization and um, market orders or uh, limited orders is almost the same whether you are market order or a limited order so we are testing and we are about done testing and it is a very uh, friendly use for 
now because the market is over you don't want to trade anymore but this is I'm just showing you an example and I'm showing you the market analyzer now we are hitting really south in it but uh, today it nailed 5,000 on the three minutes and the the the, the four minutes is also 5,000 so there is not much different but I will go with four minutes then th three minutes because they're almost the same amount of money and uh, they are um, if I can go with a higher time frame I will go with a higher time frame and this is uh, the we are on the final phase with the testing on this uh, a new scalping system and uh, on the five minutes look uh, I want to show you um, uh, on the five on the three minutes uh, it's around little above 5,000 based on two contracts. Uh, on the four minutes, it's almost the same amount, 5,295. And now if we look on the five minutes here, you can see it's almost hit the 10,000. And now it is, I mean, uh, we're not that far from closing for today. But uh, this is a really... Um, this is really uh, we are uh, you know still under test here so um, we have not it depends really how this person want to approach the market more I mean for the ones who are less experienced uh, I think you should go with the scalper and a trade from uh, 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock as an example you should not be trading 24-7 I'm against that because um, as you see right now uh, uh, we are we are about to go to the end of that day and then the market start getting a uh, little bit nasty and um, now you start getting a mixed signal red and green and um, you don't need to be in this position I mean it is for you start around 9, 9.30, you should be done by 11, 12 o'clock. Because if this market willing to give you any, it's going to be done by 12 o'clock. So, but I'm showing you the testing. And um, and uh, this is what, after many months is uh, working on it, we're about done with it. And we are testing the final uh, version of it. Uh, all this is in your package. I cannot... Uh, sell the scalper without the TI7. I cannot sell the TI7 without the signal uh, automated to trade because uh, uh, the market is not going to work on you uh, just by using one type of an entry, one type of a strategy, and you're going to whack the whole market with it. it does not exist. Uh, that is a myth. Uh, you have to be a little bit have uh, enough tools in your toolbox um, and um, to approach the markets for different seasons for different timing um, if you are trying to trade a globex or overnight or before the market is opened maybe you want to go on a light scalping uh, if you want to start around 9 30 and uh, you want to take serious trade then it is the ti7 you cannot say i only want to scalp you cannot say i only want to trade the es you cannot say i only want to trade the nasdaq you know sometimes the nasdaq have surprise and move and sometimes it can be nightmare uh, the idea here what we are doing here is uh, on this is a type of scalping as you see sometimes this market get in trouble or when instruments get in trouble so Staying going, uh, you know, crazy over the EAS or the NASDAQ or the Dow Jones. What we are trying to, the nightmare is not coming from a professional trader. The nightmare is coming from the amateur trader. Those are the nightmare. And um, he want to have the elephant fly. He don't care how. Uh, and you tell him, elephant don't fly. But he got on his mind, elephant flies. So... Uh, the nightmares always comes from the amateur traders. They are have less experience. Always. Uh, 
This is where all the troubles comes from. And when things does not work their way, then uh, everybody to be blamed except herself. And uh, through the live webinars, we have talked about it many times. So the whole idea here about uh, this auto trades is not um, uh, for a guy can you take uh, one ES or a two, three contracts on the micro account ES or two ES micro account, two NASDAQ micro account, two CL micro account, whatever YM micro account for the guy has no money or for a guy have a little money, little beef on his back. He can take one ES, one NASDAQ, one CL, and one YM. So when he's hedging this future, if one of them go in banana or go in south, then the other market is making the money. Here is the example I'm trying. This is a, now it is a straight out of the box. It's not, uh, uh, it's not uh, really, uh, the final tune is out of the box, is loose. But um, if we notice here, this is an example. Uh, we have the ES is taking a long trade, making money. Let's say if it is one trade, and NASDAQ is uh, making money. Take the Russell out of the way. A lot of traders uh, don't trade Russell. Why am eating banana going very south? So what I'm trying to say sometimes uh, one instrument is, is moving not to the favor of that type of an auto trade you are using or the, um, the, 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 uh, the setting on it or whatever, or the time frame, whatever. So if one of the instrument did go down and you have it sprayed out, it does not cost that much money to use one ES, one NASDAQ and y, one YM. So what I'm trying to say for those guys, uh, they don't know what they're doing. Uh, they have better chances to stay on top of it. And um, if uh, one ES is not making money, the YM is making money, or uh, one uh, YM is not making money, the NASDAQ is making money. And absolutely you have to be man manageable uh, in a way where I prefer to be from 9, 9.30 to 12 o'clock. Now it's very late to trade anything, especially right now, going towards the Christmas. Uh, I will not advise anyone to, to trade all day long. It should be between 9, 9.30 uh, to 11, 12 o'clock and should be done. And uh, hardly the market move uh, sometimes during those, uh, the last months of the year. So this one here, we are uh, very happy about it. Still, you need to learn a little management. You don't need to learn how to optimize, tweak the auto trade, but at least uh, you're not gonna go ahead and put $10,000 a day on me and uh, you have one contract ES because we have seen it before. I mean, if you have one ES, ES does not move a lot. So if uh, if you put it between three and five hundred dollars on the ES, three four hundred dollars on the Nasdaq, three four hundred dollars on the YM, uh, either or either direction, uh, winning or losing, uh, you can always probably gonna be uh, having a less hit uh, on. Um, as you see right now, let's uh, take. I'm just showing you the bigger picture how to auto trade and um, and uh, be consistent on it. And um, you can see also that this is a really uh, very hard to do. As you see here on the four minutes, they're all using the same setting, the same time frame. You know, so um, as I said, we are we're not adjusting anything in here. Uh, we're just taking it out of the box and testing it how it behaves uh, when the market is not moving. So a little two hundred here, losing a hundred here, two hundred here. The, the the whole target is has changed is this is one of the trick i mean you don't have to be going all the way up to five thousand but when we have one contract as as an example uh one contract nasdaq and ym i want it to be more realistic then it's no longer 
uh, the NASDAQ or the ES or the YM uh, worry about every single trade. What we are doing, we are to uh, looking at the total P&L. So in another word, if we if we are running an ES, NASDAQ, and YM, and um, I don't I don't care what the NASDAQ did today. I don't care what the ES did today. I don't care what the YM did, did today. But when we are start looking at the the PNL, the total PNL, and if we started around nine o'clock and is getting let's say the total is one thousand or five hundred, you need to flat out everything and protect your profit. So you are no longer looking after the ES if it win a trade or lose a trade. What we are looking at the total PNL on the NASDAQ ESYM, whether it is 500 or 300, whatever turns you on, go ahead for it. Don't get me involved in it. Whatever ticks you, do it, you know, but don't go ahead and put 10,000 a day or 5,000 a day, you know. Uh, we have to be more realistic, not a dreamer. So if you see the 500 on the total profit, you don't need to wait for the auto trade to say, okay, daily target hit. We don't need that like this one here. Daily target hit, you're done. No, uh, this one here, that's why I'm talking about management. Is we don't care, even if you have set it up to $500 a day on each instrument, that's mean 1500. Maybe you're not gonna get the 1500. Maybe you will, how would I know? But if we say uh, we hit, we made the auto trade, each one of them is 500, and I can see I'm getting close to 1000, and the market now starts sinking. There is exhaustion in the trend. You need to shut it down and walk away with it. If you see the auto trade is really struggling on those three instruments to get up to 500. You know, this is the, the puzzle here, because let's say you wanted 500, it takes no time maybe to get your 500. But when you put on it, on, let's say on 1000, those three instruments to make a 1000, maybe you're gonna get up to five, six, seven hundred dollars and now the market is sideways, then your profit is gonna drop from six, seven hundred dollars based on one contract to 300. And then now the auto trade has to go ahead and climb up again those all those money he, he, he lost it. So the higher the target is, the longer time and the more risk you are taking. It's not that just you just put it on 1,000 or 10,000 and you say, that's it, this is my target for today. Well, I don't care what your target is, it depends on the market movement. You know, you can put your target whatever number it is, uh, the, the problem is, are you gonna accomplish this target or not? So we have to be more realistic. So we need to go in a way when we see the auto trades are taking the trades and uh, they are making money, there is a one, once a while one losing trade and then gaining back, oh, it's fine. But when the auto traders start getting hit, one bad trade after the other, one bad trade, you need to stop. You need to stop, you should not continue. When I showed you the, those uh, three uh, different time frame, we started right and red, you know, because now the, the market is about to be done. And now you can see the market start gaining again for this money they lost. So now we are going in the circle. So when we are using one contract ES or one contract NASDAQ, one contract YM, don't go ahead and put a daily target 10,000 because you have to count when the market is flat sideways, it's gonna start banging on uh, your auto trade and you're gonna start having one losing trade after the other. And it is not what's wrong with the auto trade, it is what's wrong with you. You don't read the market when the market is flat. When the market is flat, there is no money to be made. Whether you are auto trading, banana trading, or or or, or an, a, a manual trading, doesn't matter. When the market is flat, there is no money to be made. Period. So, as we see right now, this is an example. The Russell is down 130. The ES is 175, and the Nasdaq is 100 dollars. Let's say uh, above. So right now we are into the profit 100 something dollars into the profit and we we don't care about the 100 so hedging hedging the market and uh, uh, make it simplify auto trade consistency 
It's no longer we are worried about the ES if it made $100 or lose $100. It is the total PNL, the, 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 the released profit loss. When it goes to reasonable amount of money, this is a machine. We are a human. We have a brain. It cannot be any auto trade. This is the biggest question. Does auto trade work? If you think the auto trades and we need to shut down our brain, no, that one auto trades will not work for you. We need to use common sense. When we see this auto trade is struggling to get up to 1000, flatten out everything, protect your profit. This is has nothing to do with the auto trade. This is has to do with trader management. And if you don't manage common sense, we're not asking you to be a brilliant trader, but we're asking you to have common sense uh, how uh, things work in the market in order to survive from one day to another. Gentlemen, that's all what we have today. God bless you all. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you another day. Bye for now.